Hello, I'm David, and welcome back to the Craft Mansion. It's Stormbreaker. You saw the title. As many of you know, Stormbreaker stores new weapon in Avengers Infinite War and Endgame, as Mjolnir was broken in Thor Ragnarok. Sorry, my lamp was making a noise. Of course, my Mjolnir isn't broken, and you can see how I made that right here. This is quite an ambitious project. In fact, I spent the day measuring and designing the template, seeing where parts go, because yes, I do give you the template, and even though it's confusing, I explain it bit by bit in the video. I won't be using it in the video because I will be working on it along as like as I make different parts. To get the template, just contact me on Facebook or Instagram, and I'll send it to you through an email. I also have a new Twitter account, so go follow me there. Please, I only have three followers. I'm not using the template, but rather the original print. On the template, I marked the red lines, which mark the base there of floor mat foam and foam board. On the edge where the X head meets the hammer head, there are three red dotted lines, and the innermost one is where the foam board ends. This is so I have an area where my handle can fit. The line in the middle is for the first layer of floor mat foam. Now I use different cuts of foam just because this is a filler layer, so the foam didn't need to be one whole solid piece. I made two copies of this layer. Then, for the last layer of foam, I copied the entire template twice, save for the small parts at the top and bottom. On the template, I also explain how the layers should go. Four foam layers, and in the middle of them, the foam board. So I started by gluing the foam board to the first layer of foam, using contact glue. This glue is different than the usual, as you apply it to both surfaces, let it dry for a bit, and then you press both edges together. On the template, in red, I also drew where the bevel starts. I copied that line onto my foam. I also marked the bevel from the sides, and then I started by carving off the excess. For a smoother surface, I used the Dremel tool. As a side note, when you have holes in your foam, you can always fill them in with a paste of glue and sanded foam dust. I also sanded the edges so as to have a crisp edge. Although I had planned space for the handle, I still needed to round the area, so I sanded the excess foam. Where there is exposed foam board, I applied the thick layer of Mod Podge so as to seal it. Then I covered the whole X head with 2mm EVA craft foam, save for the edges where it meets the hammer head and the bottom where there is the hole for the handle. I sanded all the edges of the craft foam. On the template, I marked the lines in blue. These are the panel lines. I copied all the details and then I cut slightly into the foam. There are also some panel lines on the edge. I copied this part of the template onto craft foam and then glued it. For the raised parts in the middle of the X head, I started with some floor mat foam. I removed the texture at the back and then glued it. For the parts at the end, I used craft foam. The middle part tapers down. So, at one end it is as high as the purple foam glued on the X head, and at the other end it is only as high as the craft foam, so 2 mm. When gluing it, I also made sure to fix it tightly to both other pieces of foam. Then I cut the panel lines. These triangular shapes are 2.5 cm high. I made them with floor mat foam, sending down the texture that's on the bottom of the foam. Now on the bottom of the X head there is this thing, don't know exactly how to describe it, but I made it out of styrofoam. I sanded it to fit and checked it along the way. At the end, it comes out to a hexagon. On the smaller end, it comes down to a trapezium. So I cut off the excess. This is the final shape. And once finished, I sealed it with Mod Podge. Then I covered it with craft foam. Except for the longest and shortest sides. I applied contact glue and attached it in place. This of course is the bottom side. The hammerhead template has a similar concept, when it comes to the edge where it meets the X head, having three dotted lines, so I copied the innermost layer onto foam board. Now this is a little different, so the hammerhead bevels towards the middle, and where it stops I also marked a dotted line. This is still where the floor mat foam covers, so it only covers that small area. I copied this design twice onto foam. The outermost layer of foam also covers still where the bevel ends, and I made two copies of this layer. Then I glued all five layers with contact glue. To build the hammer part I'm using bits of styrofoam. I have different pieces like blocks or strips. You can't actually see them there underneath the camera. And I'm of course assembling the hammer head bit by bit. I don't have a piece large enough so this will have to do. By the way that sound, it's I have a small fan that's constantly drying like different pieces because 
This project is quite big, so I'm assembling different parts at the same time. You've already seen this, it's already finished, the details, I'm, but right now I'm still cutting them, I'm still filming it because while pieces dry, I have to do other stuff. Piece by piece, I built the hammerhead. Before applying the contact glue, I coated the styrofoam with Mod Podge to prevent the glue from eating into the foam. When I use the foam cutter, I like to guide it using a metal strip. The flat side of hacksaw usually does the trick. I also use the craft knife if areas were too large for the foam cutter. Once all pieces were in place, I sanded the edges. I cut the edges and then I cut the corners so the cross section in shape is an octagon, not a square. Along the front and back faces, there is a groove. Then I covered all the styrofoam surface area with mod posh. And I also covered the exposed foam board as I did with the X head. When it comes to covering the styrofoam and the other pieces, I like to label each part with a number. So, as you can see, here's number one, and then the last part is eight. This is because some parts look better when they're applied on another one. So, for example, here, the seam would be hidden with the foam on top. Here, I'd rather prefer having the seam on this side rather than on top. This took quite some time, but slowly I covered almost all of the hammerhead. The only parts of exposed styrofoam are the four lines on the front and back faces. I cut those lines from the template, but I couldn't cut the rest to the size of the area of foam, as I needed the template hole for later on. So I laid the foam onto the template, pressed it hard, and then marked the indents. They're not clearly seen on camera, but they were there. After every piece I glued, I cut off the excess foam. I have a drawer full of scrap pieces, so for the small parts, I could easily find bits of foam. And excuse my messy hair, it was past midnight I think at that point. Like the axe head, I sent it an area in which the handle could fit. Oh my god, did you hear it? It's Chewbacca! On the top and the bottom faces, I cut the panel lines. These are marked in blue on the template. There is also the design in the middle, same as on the X head. I removed the parts marked in black. On the edge, there's an extra strip of craft foam, which is marked in green on the template. Then I cut that V design out of styrofoam and covered it in Mod Podge. I applied contact glue and stuck it in place. It continues with the middle groove beveling always into the middle. The rest of this part also continues decreasing in thickness. I know I could have sliced my finger in that position, but I mean, the situation wasn't ideal, the styrofoam was moving way too much and I risked breaking the styrofoam, so I put my finger at risk. I sealed the styrofoam in Mod Podge and then covered its faces with craft foam. Again, marked in green on the template, there's the continuation of the second layer of craft foam. This part is quite tricky. I beveled the lower end of the thin part, so it would fit with the groove of the hammerhead. I used contact glue and stuck it in place. The image should help in understanding how it is glued. Then I beveled the corner. To copy the runes, I poked the edges of the letters through the template, copied them and then cut them. At the end of the hammerhead, there's a circle. So first, I copied the whole thing onto craft foam. Except for the area where there's the design, I cut another layer of foam and glued it onto the base. The edges of the circle are quite rounded, so I used the Dremel tool. To copy the design, I pressed hard on it and marked the cardboard underneath. To see the indents clearly, I used my phone light and put it on the side, and then marked the design. I didn't cut all the pieces, unfortunately, as some of them were quite small, but I still kept the general idea. Then, using super glue, I put all the pieces in place. I cut two circles the size of the smallest circle of the template, and super glued them together. These go to the back of the circle in the middle. The circle at the middle has a ring on the outside, so I slightly cut through it. I sealed all the cardboard using Mod Podge. Yeah, I used it a lot, I know. And then finally I glued it on with contact glue. The two small circles at the back serve as a way to make the whole thing look like a dome. Once both parts of the head were finished, I applied contact glue. I used a PVC pipe to guide both ends when pressing them together. Contact glue is quite strong, so it was enough to attach both ends. I taped the remaining pieces of the templates to form the middle piece and then copied it four times onto floor mat foam, two for each side of the X. I also sanded the texture at the back of the foam. Before attaching them, I glued three layers of craft foam, starting from the longest one and shortening them as I built the layers. For a smoother transition, I sanded the edges of each layer. So now, when glued, the middle piece is domed out. I put down the first layer and then the second. The second one is slightly longer than the original template, 
since this needs to be bent further than the first one. The outermost line is beveled towards the handle. I marked from where it starts on the template. I made this last part from craft foam and glued it in the middle. Then I cut the panel lines. Finally, I heat sealed the foam using a heat gun, which also opens all the cuts of the panel lines. So the X head is finished. A lot of details, I know, but uh, I think when painted, it will be worth it. So I'll start with a base layer of plaster dip. Now, of course, the plaster dip didn't cover all the areas, but with silver, I think I can manage the job. Stormbreaker's head is not all light silver. Some areas are darker. To highlight some areas, I like darkening deeper ones. So I used black shoe polish and I also sprayed some water to make it more runny. Then I wiped off the excess for some withering effect. I also used shoe polish. Usually I use it from the bottle itself, but this has many corners, so a fine paintbrush helps a lot. For the handle, I used a PVC pipe, 2.5 cm in diameter. I marked its length and then cut it with a pipe cutter. Or should I say, tried cutting it. I sent it the pipe to make it rougher, so glue would stick better to it. I glued strips of foam to it to make it thicker and also to be able to shape it later on. Each time, I glued on larger strips to cover all the sides of the pipe. The handle is not straight, so I did some more strips on some sides. I capped off the end and then I started carving the shape. I made the handle more rounded, cutting bit by bit. When I could carve out no more, I sent it all the edges flat. Now since the handle is a branch, Groot's hand to be exact, it is not a flat round shape. I started by marking the end, then I marked all 10 lines that run along the entirety of the handle. I carved these out with a Dremel tool, starting with a single straight line, and then rounding out each roll of the branch. I carved the end to resemble a broken log, and then made cuts from the center towards the edge, and central circular cuts. I heated the foam, and you can clearly see the cuts now. I also gave a base coat of plaster dip to the handle, and then painted it with dark brown paint. The center is lighter, so I dry brushed some yellow onto it. I also dry brushed some black on the rest of the handle. I painted black shoe polish between each roll and then wiped off the excess. So the hammerhead is ready, the handle is ready, and now to stick them together I will be using silicone. Unlike when I did Mjolnir, I won't be sticking my finger into the hammerhead and then spreading the silicone around because that was horrible. But instead I will just be using a stick. I applied it to both the handle and into the hole. Then I pushed it inside, twisting it in the process to make sure all the silicone spread around evenly. Now of course in the movies the handle is attached to the hammerhead with vines and since I don't have flexible vines, I will be using this rope and covering it with painter's tape. I cut pieces of tape and covered the rope bit by bit. To prevent the tape from being undone, I sealed it with Mod Podge. Then I painted it in brown. I used hot glue to stick the vines to the handle and the head. I weaved and mixed the vines to create more of a natural look. Now of course, there's a distinction between the foam and the rope. So I made a mixture of foam shaving dust and wood glue. Then I filled the areas with the paste to create a transition. I sanded it and painted it. I fixed some areas with the brown paint and then finally I added the last details of weathering and to also hide the hot glue. This video came out a little late, I know, sorry, but as you can see this was quite a large project. 
I really love how the vines blend into the rest of the branch. I've been waiting to do this project ever since I did the Leviathan X, which you can find right here. But finish this video and then see it. Okay, don't please don't leave me, okay? Finish finish this one first. Thor himself approves of this replica. Don't you Thor? See? He's agreeing. What? Come to think of it, I am Thor. I mean I have the costume, I have Mjolnir, I have Stormbreaker. Bow before me. Bow before the God of Thunder. And by bow I mean like and comment. That was a good segue, that was awesome. And you can subscribe as well, which you can do right here. And I have some more videos, two of which are these. So until then, this is Stormbreaker. I'm David, and this is the Craft Mansion.